front really impacted areas east around the Texas Panhandle. It's about 10 degrees cooler Dallas, Oklahoma City, and even south of the border, much cooler there in Chihuahua. Albuquerque at 45, 50 in Amarillo, 44 Lubbock, and only in the 50s in Odessa. So our future track model does show a few passing clouds for today, but I do want to jump straight to Tuesday's forecast because that's why we are under that ABC7 first alert. But this next cold front moving in, again, it's going to be dry, but it will be cranking up the winds. Our future track wind gust tracker shows at 6 o'clock will already be tracking low and windy conditions for the Las Cruces area, dimming Silver City around 35 miles per hour and close to 50 in Ruidoso. This is going to be around the six o'clock hour. We advance into lunchtime and then the winds really begin to ramp up. They'll be moving in from the west. So those of you that live east and northeast sides of town, you're going to have to deal with the brunt of the winds. Gust at 53 Ruidoso cloud crop at two o'clock. We're still seeing gust around the 50 mile per hour range in Las Cruces around 45 to 50 in El Paso at seven o'clock. I still think we're low and windy and then we'll gradually start to th see things die down around 10 o'clock. So southwest West winds on Tuesday, 20 to 30 miles per hour, gust up to 50, strongest along the eastern facing slopes of the area mountains. So I do think the peak time for us to see our strongest winds will be between 2 and 6 o'clock. So plan accordingly. 84, Socorro, Clint, and Fabens also in the low 80s for this afternoon. Tonight we'll be dropping down to the 60s and we'll just be tracking a few clouds. There is your seven day forecast. Once this cold front moves in, that's going to drop us to 74 on Wednesday, 70s Thursday, and Friday with sunny, sunny skies this weekend.